Get the Clippers ready. The annual St. Baldrick's Day event is happening in downtown Green Bay this weekend, and we're getting a, a little preview this morning. Angela Kelly is there. She is not getting a haircut. No, no. This is about as short as I can go, I think. I but think I tell you right. what, <laughs> someone who is going to get a, a very short haircut this morning is Zach. He's 20 years old. He lives in De Pere. He also works here at St. Brendan's Inn. Look at this long, beautiful hair that he has. Uh, why did you decide to do this? Uh, my sister has been cutting hair uh, for St. Baldrick's for two years now, and my brother-in-law has also done it. And my brother-in-law's cousin uh, was just diagnosed with cancer, and it's just, just something, you know, you got to stick together with your family, and it's a good cause. And I asked him if he was nervous, and his response said, nope, it's just hair. And yeah, I think that is hair. the perfect response. Has he ever so gone bald you... before? Have you ever gone bald before? A um, couple times. Football. Oh, okay. Oh. So you're used to it. We'll, we'll let you get started here. And uh, let's move on to Kieran. Uh, Kieran, you have a special reason why um, you're getting what little is left of your hair shaved. Can you tell us about it? Uh, my cousin Miranda, who was here earlier, uh, she has cancer, you know. So my uncle had cancer, my aunt had cancer. It's kind of a family thing, so. And, uh, you know, Miranda's here with you, and, and, you know, why do you think it's 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 important that you do this? Uh, it's a good cause, you know, and... The money goes to a good place, you know, and... Any idea how much money you've raised so far? Uh, I personally have raised about $150. Wow, that's pretty good. That's it's not always easy to do, but congratulations, and uh, there you go. There's a first stripe right down the middle I of his head. I think it looks good just like that. I think it looks good just like that, too. What do you think? I don't... He can't see it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Okay, this is a uh, beautiful uh, Isabel. And Isabel, how old are you? Six years old. You're six years old. And can you tell us what you're planning to do with your hair tomorrow? I'm I'm planning to to cut it, and then and then St. Baldrick's will will send it to Locks of Love, and then and then Locks of Love will make it into a wig and donate it to kids kids cancer. That is a very special thing you're doing. Do you know that? Yes. What made you decide that you wanted to do this? My granddad and my daddy were doing it, and, I, and for for and since I was born, and I th and I thought that I should do it too. Well, look at this beautiful hair. So they're going to take about 16 inches off. Can we have you turn around, honey? It's long, beautiful hair, and so by the time she's done, she's going to have a pretty short bob, and we all agree that she's going to look just as beautiful, if not even more beautiful, than she already is, right? Yes. yes. She's okay, darling. I you, just honey. want to give her a hug. I know. I, can I give you a hug? Everybody just wants to hug you. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> that, that one's from Rachel, too. Thanks, Okay. <laughs> hey, um, you, you, everybody can still help. You can attend the event tomorrow, donate money. Um, it starts at 1 o'clock here, out here at St. Brendan's Inn. Um, you can also just donate online. Uh, go to fox11online.com and click on Good Day Wisconsin. Um, right in my story, there's a link right there where you can donate money. So... Can we, uh, there's a bunch of people in here. You guys want to give them a round of applause? Yeah. Seriously. Thank you, guys. We'll be back with uh, one more segment, and uh, we'll see who's next to get their heads buzzed, okay? Right. Thanks, Ange. The guys are looking great.